So in the previous video we have been talking about annotations and now it's time to take a look at tagging which is basically the extension of annotations. Playwright allows you to put tags on the tests and then run the group of tests using specific tags. So in this video I'm going to teach you how to put tags on the tests and how to execute the tests using specific tags. So let's say I want to put a tag on the test of assertions. So how to do it? Very simple. Into the description of the test, I can simply put the sign and name of the tag. So let's say I'm gonna give it the name of my tag, and that's pretty much it. Now, if you want to run the test targeting these tags, you can do npx play write test, and now you do grab space and the name of the tag like this and basically the playwright will now only focus on the test with your tag which you have specified here and the rest of the test will be ignored so let's try to run it and as you can see the playwright has selected only this one test which is assertions and run it and let's say if you want to run more tests you can put the same tag onto another test, let's say here. Again, I'm gonna put my tag here. And if I'm gonna run it again, it will take these two tests. As you can see, it's running two tests, not one. And again, both with the tags of my tag. And in similar way, you can do the opposite. You can run the test and ignore all the tests using specific tag. So, the opposite way is to write mpx playwright test dot dot grab invert and the name of the tag let's say my tag and this way all the tag tests will be ignored and the rest will be run so let's try to run it as you can see we are now running three tests and these two tests with tags has been ignored. And so basically that's it. You can also put tags on the test suite, not just the simple tests. And also you can have multiple tags. And remember the tag can be any name you specific, but it has to have the sign and the name of the tag at the end of the test description. Well, that's it. Using tags in Playwright is very simple yet very useful, so we can move to the next topic in the next video.